I am Dr. Saima Khan and today we will discuss a case of cervical polyp. Cervical polyps are made up of vascular connective tissue stroma covered with epithelium. Cervical polyps are polypoidal growths projecting into the cervical canal. They can be one of the most common causes of intermenstrual vaginal bleeding. Cervical polyps are usually discovered during the routine gynecological examination, colposcopy or during the abdominal or transvaginal scan. A cervical polyp can be identified on Doppler study by the presence of a feeding vessel or vascular stalk that extends from the cervical wall to the polyp. This is known as the feeding artery sign. Cervical polyps are common finger-like growths of tissue that protrude into the passageway through the cervix. Polyps are almost always benign. Cervical polyps may be caused by chronic inflammation or infection. They can be caused by clogged blood vessels in the cervix. These can disrupt the blood flow near the cervix, leading to polyp development. A family history of polyps or inherited genetic syndrome or mutation may increase the risk of polyps. Symptoms Symptoms of cervical polyps include abnormally heavy periods, menstrual flow may be watery and much heavier than usual, irregular menstrual cycles, periods may become unpredictable which may make it harder to conceive. Polyps may interfere with the implantation of fertilized egg in the uterus, leading to difficulties in achieving and maintaining pregnancy. The presence of polyps can create an unfavorable environment for embryo implantation and fetal development. Polyps can also block the canal of cervix, directly blocking the uterus. Polyps may contribute to miscarriages. In any case, polyps can play a major role in infertility. Some polyps cause pus-like discharge from vagina. Surveys have showed that PCOS was significantly associated with higher risk of pre-malignant and malignant endometrial polyp. The prevalence of PCOS was evaluated in different histological types of endometrial polyps and results showed that prevalence of PCOs was 8.01% in endometrial polyps. Cervical polyps are common in women over age of 20 who have given birth to more than one child. They are most common in premenopausal women. Signs and symptoms also include pain in vagina, pressure or heaviness in the pelvis, painful urination, Vaginal itching, lower abdominal pain or pelvic pain. Diagnosis. Diagnostic methods include speculum examination, colposcopy and biopsy. Treatment. The most common treatment for cervical polyps is removal or polypectomy during a pelvic examination. Excision is usually a minor procedure and can be done by grasping the base of polyp with a polyp forcep and twisting of the polyp. A recovery is quick. Usually it is a matter of a few days. Mild pain may be encountered for a day or two with some light bleeding. Cramp like discomfort or tenderness in the abdomen is felt. Cauterization using heat to stop bleeding. Treatment through cryotherapy may also be done. If the polyp is large, polypectomy may be done in operating room under general anesthesia. Some polyps might grow into cancer over a period of time if they are left untreated. In advanced cases, hysterectomy or other advanced procedures may be done. Prevention Regular checkups and pap smear may be done, treating infections promptly Maintaining good hygiene, managing hormonal balances. Prognosis Cervical polyps are generally benign and recurrence is uncommon. But 
Follow-up is essential in case polypectomy is done.